With your permission, I will humbly invite Mr. Otto Ado to join me here. Otto, could you come up? I, I, I remember my first, I remember, I, I remember my first engagement with this gentleman. After two minutes, I was sure about exactly what I wanted. And for those of you who have followed the team, over three days, what we have seen of the Black Stars is something that we have never seen before. Otto, D.D., Chris, George Boateng have delivered something amazing to our dear country. Otto will say a few words. He's always shy, <laughs> but today he will speak. Mr. President, our head coach, Otto Ado. I'm done here for you. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. Ex Mr. Excellency, for the invitation. It's a great, great honor for us to be here. Um, it's, for me, it's even, yeah, very, very special. Uh, more special than the game yesterday because uh, we were not really prepared, or I'm not really prepared. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Kreku, for your kind words. Uh, a little bit too much, I think, but it's okay. <laughs> I take it. Um, I won't make it long. I think uh, enough is said. Um, surely everybody's happy. Uh, we qualified for the World Cup. This was our aim. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward for it. Um, I won't take long. I would like to um, the staff, not the coaches, the staff, please to stand up. So this is the staff, the medical department. <laughs> the medical department, video, analyzer, and, uh, oh, Ricky, okay, uh, our performance uh, manager. So um, they, they worked a lot. They helped us as a team a lot and um, worked the kit men, they work day and night. Um, thank you for your effort. Um, um, you are highly, you have highly percentage on our uh, success. Thank you very much. Henry. <laughs> then um, let me please go to the coaching staff. Please stand up. So for my... <laughs> So in the first row is uh, Chris Hutton, um, very, very experienced, uh, a lot of help, a lot of good ideas uh, which we introduced um, and uh, it was a massive help to have him around to, to clear a lot of small, small problems. Uh, thank you, Chris. You did uh, more than uh, yeah, we could expect. Very, very good, um, exceptional. Didi Dramani, um, assistant coach, and George, assistant coach, um, as well. Um, um, I think uh, it was the best uh, team what I could uh, wish. Uh, I didn't know them before, but um, yeah, I'm very, very happy that uh, the president had this set up. Um, he introduced us, and we get to know each other. Um, it was uh, excellent working with them together. Um, and fit it. Thank you for your good job and good work. Thank you very much. And then the players, please stand up. I would, I would like because I don't see everybody, and some are uh, sadly missing. Um, I would like everybody just to, to come up front. You start with the first row. Just introduce yourself. Oh, you have a microphone there. Okay. And then you uh, pass it on. I think um, the, best, the, best, 
the best thing come at last and uh, what you did was exceptional like the president said it was not easy to stand firm under these circumstances uh, really really tough um, yeah, it was 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 incredible to see how you fought and uh, you really deserve it I'm happy for you guys thank you so we start with our captain Thomas Party thank you mr. president Thomas Pate, Asna, and Ghana Blasters. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, boy, Columbus Crew. Thank you, Mr. President. Christopher and J for Phil Bochum. Thank you, Mr. President. Chris Yotri Wright, Hosh and Key. Thank you, Mr. President. Elisha Osu Kagant. Thank you, Mr. President. Joseph Pinto, Kiyosi Gang. Thank you, Mr. President. I am a Jiku Strasbourg. Thank you, Mr. President. Abdel Mumin, Victoria. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Mohamed Kudus, FCI Ajax. Thank you, Mr. President. Abdel Manaf, Nouruddin, Kas, Open. Thank you, Mr. President, Joseph Edu, South Avigo. Thank you, Mr. President, Lauren Satizigi, FT Sengal. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President, Edmond Addo, FC Sheriff. Thank you, Mr. President, Gideon Mesa, FC Bordeaux. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President, Joseph Wallacott, Swindon Town. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President, Jordan Ayu, Christoph Alice. Thank you, Mr. President. Idrisu Baba Mohammed from Africa. Thank you, Mr. President. Usman Bukhari, FC Nant. Okay, um, took a while, but I think it's worth it. Um, I just want to mention as well our goalkeeper coach Richard Kingston. He's not here. Um, thank you very much for uh, for your work. Then um, some players missing: Daniel Amate and Dennis Odoy also missing. Um, they did a great job yesterday as well, and uh, we want to thank them for that. Um, furthermore, I would like to say I said it to some of the press uh, members. already um, these were only two games but uh, there was a long path before ahead and uh, CQA Grenon is, is part of this success and uh, 
as well as uh, Milovan Rayovac. <laughs> And of course, um, our captain, Andrew Ayu, and several players missing today. Um, it's very, very important for us, I think, that we acknowledge that and um, we have them in our thoughts. Thank you very much again for the invitation and uh, wish you all a nice afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Otto Ado. Uh, Mr. President, in departing, let me also mention the amazing role played by our legends in ensuring that our players were very motivated. The legends led by Sami Kufo, who's a member of the management committee. Um, on that note, we thank you. We thank you, Yadawasi. Thank you. He deserves another round of applause. Thank you very much. I, I, excuse me. I know, mem I know members of the su supporting union or the supporters union are yearning to, yeah, to sing one jama before Mr. President takes the floor. So you are invited. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to invite the President of the Republic to deliver his message. GFA chairman and the coach, the technical team, the management team, Mr. Thomas Patti, captain, <laughs> and the members of the Black Star. You're all very, very, very welcome to Jubilee House, which is the seat of the presidency of our country. I think everything that needs to be said has been said, but I just want to add my personal word of gratitude to you for putting the icing on the cake on my birthday yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. 
the way these things happen. Today I had to give a statement to the parliament on the state of the nation. And it meant that yesterday, when you were playing, I was in a meeting with those who helped me put these things together. So sad as it is to say, I didn't actually watch the match. But what I heard were the reactions of people in my office as you were playing and they were watching. And when you score the first goal, there's an Arsenal contingent in my... <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with you. He, uh, Chris Hutton and I, we belong to the other side in North London. Yeah. They came rushing in that uh, you've won the game for us. But really, the nation was so elated by your performance. both in Kumasi and also in uh, Abuja. In Kumasi, we saw that the black stars that we knew, the committed, skillful set of footballers that we grew up with here had come back. Now, we didn't see it, unfortunately, in the AFCON, but we saw it in Kumasi. And really, after Kumasi, I was very, very calm here that I knew that in Abuja it was going to work out well. In fact, I happened to be in Abuja the day before on, a, on an official business and I discovered when I was there a lot of nervousness on their part. I'm talking before the, before the Friday. The Thursday before the Friday, I was in Abuja. And uh, I came away with the thought that they feared that if they didn't get a result in Kumasi, they may not get a result in, uh, in Abuja. And that's exactly what happened. They didn't get it. So we have to thank you. You lifted the spirit of the nation. And now the nation has every reason to look forward to your performance in Qatar. Everybody's going to be behind you. And we're going to give you all the maximum support that we can. The ministry, the officials of the Ghana Football Association, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and all the organizations in the, in the, in the state that work with sports and football will give you all the support that they can. The arrangements that they have made with you before are all going to be properly honored and made sure that uh, everybody feels properly recompensed for what has happened. I myself am organizing a special package for you before. <laughs> <laughs> as, 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 a token, as a token of my appreciation and recognition. But I think that above all, what we want to see, what we have seen in these two matches is the oneness, the cooperation, the solidarity, right from the management through the technical team, through the team, of people working together for a common goal. And that is what we want to see continue. I'm hoping that the technical team that has been put together for these two matches will at least take us through the World Cup itself. I told the coach, the head coach, that he ought to be careful when he came to Ghana. He might likely be kidnapped here. I will make it difficult for him to go back to, Holland, to, to Germany and to Dortmund. That we want him here. But I would, I would uh, Mr. Okriku, uh, whatever you can do to make sure that the team stays uh, together, at least until Qatar. Then afterwards we can take the long-term decisions. The reason is that a situation whereby Arsenal, Tottenham, and everybody is together in one arrangement, that's a formidable uh, <laughs> arrangement. Tottenham is very well represented here. 
both here and here. <laughs> and oh yes, 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 the Vice President. The Vice President is also a strong supporter of the cockerel of, the, of, of Spurs. So let's keep together. And the, the hunger, the desire, the determination that we saw in Kumasi, that we saw again yesterday, keep together. And out of it, I know something even greater is in the future for us. The person that we grew up worshipping as the greatest footballer of all, the great Brazilian Pele, said that in his lifetime, he was sure that an African team would win the World Cup. <laughs> he said that a long time ago, that it was part that he believed strongly that in his lifetime, like me, he's also a little bit long in the tooth, but it's not over. And good God knows, if the spirit that we've seen in these two matches, and the level of skill, too, that has been demonstrated, kept together, the sky's the limit. Whatever it is that can be done on our side, as government, as officials, to support you, to give you the most agreeable and convenient background, tools, resources to work with, we will do it. The rest is up to you. But what I've seen, I know that a lot of good things are ahead of Ghanaian football. I want to welcome you all once again very warmly to the seat of the presidency and to congratulate you on behalf of the 31 million people in Ghana for the great feat Chairman talked about going into the lion's den. I believe that was it. <laughs> and the events that took place after the match tells you that indeed you have been in and out of the lion's den. But the spirit, and at the end of the day, you know better than I how much how important that is in sport. You've done very, very well. The nation is very proud of you. And we want to have more reasons to be proud in Qatar in December. I want to wish you the very best of luck. And as I say, whatever my part and the part of my government we can do to assist, we're going to do it. You're lucky. You have all kinds of very responsible and Ghanaian, senior Ghanaian, who have all been roped into the, into, into the, into the boat. Sami Kufour, um, one of the greatest players that our country has produced. Mark Addo, Kwame Sikins, the Grunsa, <laughs> Elijah Grunsa. <laughs> All of them are there to assist, as myself. I am a football fanatic. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. I, 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 I'm consumed by the game. Every opportunity I have to watch it, some of the, 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 the places you've played, I've actually been in the stadium there to watch matches. White Hart Lane in the old days, the Highbury, the Emirates, even Dortmund been to watch. I'm a big, big fan. So I'm so happy that in my period as president, this achievement has been done. So I want to thank you for that, to say you're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Thank you. I forgot. Apart, apart from my special package, 
I have presidential diaries with the crest and everything. I want to give one to Mr. Coach. <laughs> and the Arsenal man, Mr. Captain. <laughs> a two, a two, a two, a two, a two. There you go. Everybody else will get one too. They'll organize it for you. Once again, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Supporters Union. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And our sincere thanks to the President of the Republic, our Father, for his very kind words, very reassuring words, very heartwarming words. And I took particular note of the charge he has given to the FA president that he should do everything he can to keep the team together. That is Mr. President's charge to you. And I know it's a charge you keep and will never fail. Thank you very much. We are almost at the end of uh, this short interaction. And uh, it's my pleasure to uh, announce that Mr. President and government officials will have photo opportunity with uh, the players and the team. So at this juncture, may I invite, uh, first of all, the players to step forward. And then I'll mention the rest of the groups.